Hello everybody. I picked up this Yamaha receiver RX-V870 at the junkyard. It was sitting there. It's a pretty old unit, but it's half the age of my four-channel techniques, so I thought I'd see what's going on with it. When you turn it on, it turns right off within a couple of seconds. And thanks to 12-volt vids, here's a shout-out to him on YouTube. These solder connections right here. I suspect are the culprit because when I hold this board in a certain position I can get the unit to fire up and actually run properly so I'm gonna remove the IC from this heat sink so I have access to those solder connections and I'm gonna reflow all those joints and hopefully that'll take care of it well I think I found the problem even though I touched up all these solder connections once before take a look at the second one right here This one right, the second one right there. So I think that's where my problem is. Redo that one one more time and see if that takes care of the problem. Finish the repairs to those connections to the amplifier chip. I had to do it a second time. The first time I thought I did it pretty well, put the board back in, flexed it, and uh, it was intermittent. So I took it back out again, got a closer look under my microscope, and I could see that that second solder connection from the top was uh, still compromised. So I redid them all again, got the unit working. Let's pay attention to these two connectors. They're exactly the same. So you might want to make note of which one was connected to which one. And then the other trick I'll leave with you is that if you don't want to disassemble this whole thing, getting the screws off of this stereo chip can be a little challenging. The top one's not too bad with a really short Phillips screwdriver. The bottom one's a little tricky. And what I ended up using was a basically a flexible shaft with a Phillips bit on the end of it and I could come in and attack it from below without having to take all the heat sinks and uh, disconnect these power transistors from the heat sink. I'm a little concerned about that because some of these, you see that connection down there, that ground connection I think is a ground connection. Um, there's a lot of rust and whatnot in this unit so I didn't want to mess too much with what I didn't have to necessarily mess with. So. Let's power it up and see what's going on. Potential work requirements on some federal assistance there we go. programs and calling back unspent coronavirus aid. Windsor Johnston. The Pacific headed next for Taiwan. Top sustained. Mom is coming out the front door strong with a double arm kid carry. Looks like dad has the bags. Is... So it looks like it's working great. Pretty easy to diagnose. Just by flexing this circuit, holding it in a certain position, I was able to power the unit on. And when I let go of the circuit board, it would shut down. So fixing that compromised solder joint, and there may have been more than one, but certainly that second one from the top definitely was a problem. Seems to be working just great. So that's my tip for you today. If, I'm sure this applies to many of the uh, Yamaha RXV series machines. I think there are three models. I imagine many in the series will have the same problem. By the way, while you have that board out, go ahead and clean up that relay right there. Might as well clean it up now. I don't know if that one's known to be a problem, but this one over here, where is it? Right there. That one right there to the left of that red wire with the DEC on it. Uh, that relay is known to be an issue. So thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful or informative, please give me a like, thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel.